Hey, Village Peeps, it's Kenna, just a mom next door. Today, we're going to let Tabitha Brown lead us through the process of applying her full line of products from Donna's Recipe, the Sweet Potato Pie Collection. So stay tuned and let's see how it turns out on a TWA. One, two, three, four. Hello, Village Peeps. This is Kenna, just a mom next door. Today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that is try out Tabitha Brown's Donna's Recipe Collection. So I have the whole collection here that Ulta had. Um, last week was my birthday. I turned 46, and this is what I asked for for my birthday. I wanted Donna's Recipe, Sweet Potato Pie, extra creamy collection. So what I have in here is the shampoo, I have the conditioner, I have the leave-in conditioner, I have the, let's see what comes next, uh, the hair and scalp oil, I have the uh, extra creamy hair cream, and I have the strength hair oil. And then finally, last but not least, I even got the hair vitamins. This says, I can't see, um, cause this is what came with 46. Cause I have to take a picture of the things that I really want to see and then zoom in, <laughs> but I'll do my best. This says biotin hair vitamin gummies for longer, stronger, healthier hair. There's 60 vitamins in here. They're vegan and it, they're strawberry pieces. And so this is what they look like. You take two, there's two per serving, and they're just these little tiny gummies. And I'll tell you that I really don't like gummies. And for some reason, I don't know, I'm afraid of the texture. I don't know what it is about gummies. But I said, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it for the, the 30 days. And, you know, it's two a day. Um, and, and we'll see how that goes. So, I take them both at once. Hmm. Yeah, the taste is really good, actually. It tastes like a strawberry gummy bear. It doesn't taste... Um, like there's artificial sugar or it doesn't have an aftertaste and the texture isn't that bad either. So there's my gummies, my vitamins for the day. So stay with me. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I don't know if I can record and wash my hair like people do on YouTube. I might give it a try, but if I don't, I'll meet you right back here to experience the rest of the collection, okay? Time for wash day. So I'm gonna be using my extra creamy moisturizing shampoo from Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Pie Collection and also using extra creamy moisturizing conditioner. All right, so first thing we do is wet the hair before we apply the shampoo. Then we go ahead and let the lather begin, honey. Scrub a dub dub or wash a wash wash, uh-huh. Then we rinse it out, clean hair, add the conditioner. I like to rub mine through with my fingers first before I start brushing. You can section or you can brush whichever way you like to do it. That's your business. Then we want to make sure that the conditioner is all rinsed out and let's get ready to style. Right. Oh my gosh. This feels amazing. Oh, I'm to put in this um, sweet potato pie extra creamy leave-in conditioner. All right, let's get into this lock method. So this is the leave-in, okay? This is the extra creamy leave-in conditioner. 
The locking system means I'm locking in the moisture. So you start in with your leave-in. And I put a little bit on, like so like that, throughout the hair. You can also just leave this in and go about your business if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to do the whole LOC just so I can make sure after the braids, honey, Donna, remember, honey, uh, we locking in moisture. Now I begin to section my hair to apply the oil and styling cream. Here. The next step is the oil. So this is the extra creamy hair and scalp oil. All right, it looks like that. Kind of hard, like a pomade, right? But you take it out. I do it, dig it out like so, like that. And then it turns into an oil once you rub it in your hand. You feel a little bit of grittiness and then it smooths out. Okay, like so, like that. See that? Very good. And it's for your hair and your scalp. So I like to put it on my scalp. And then I put it on my edges and rub it throughout the hair. Like so, like that. And I'm also going to brush this through as well. Massage your scalp just a little bit. It's just an extra little love. So here I'm just sectioning my hair. Um, and I'm going to rub in the oil and the styling cream. And I lost the sound to the video, so I don't know what I was trying to say there. But here I'm holding up the, the strength oil because I'm not going to put it in right now while I'm going through this part of the styling process. Instead, I'm going to wait until after I've put in my Bantu knots. And when I'm ready to take the Bantu knots out, I will uh, apply the strength oil to each of the Bantu knot sections. And now I'm going to begin the process of making the mini Bantu knot by starting with two strand twists and then wrapping the twist around itself so that it forms a small little knot or circle of twists in my hair. And I'll do that as I work through the sections throughout my head. Okay, here's the first section all complete and the rest of the sections will follow suit. All right, I've got the Bantu knots completed all throughout my head, at least where the length of hair was long enough to allow for me to twist it. I'll let this dry overnight and take them out tomorrow. Okay, so here's the big reveal. Um, underneath my scarf is a whole lot of little tiny Bantu knots um, that I did two strand twists and then wrapped my hair um, around to create these knots. So we're going to start with the extra creamy scalp and hair oil. Um, I use it when I put them in the first time, but now that I'm going to take them down, I just want to put a little bit of oil on my hands. Oh, you know what? I skipped. I'm going to put that there for a second. Because what else I want to do is add in the strength oil now that my hair is in sections. And I'm just going to put a little drop in each knot. and kind of massage that in a little bit. I can't see in the back, obviously. But I can easily get to my scalp, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. And it feels really good. It's a nice peppermint, um, tea tree kind of feel. And then I'm gonna take my scalp oil because I want my hands to have some kind of something on them as I untwist these knots. So I'm just gonna untwist and separate. And we will go through each one of these. And then once they're all separated, I will separate a little bit more and fluff. All right, so just with, before I even begin to pick it out, you can see the difference between this side 
and this side after separating each of this, the strands. So I'll do this side. So now I've separated both sides. I'm gonna take my pick and I'm gonna lift the roots so that way I can begin to close up these spaces in between. So I have to decide, do I want to leave this part here um, as a natural part or do I want to try to blend it and risk making it a little bit more frizzy? There we go. I am going to get my clippers out and cut this back part a little bit to give it a nice little lineup um, and taper this bottom. And I think I'll be done. If this messes up, there's nothing I can do about it now. All right, what do you think? I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the feel of it. I was worried about this um, product actually not being a styler, but it has really great hold and definition, that hair um, cream. Um, and so, I look forward to trying this on my son, my 16 year old that is growing his hair out and my two year old granddaughter who has a really, really soft, fine, beautiful curl pattern. And I can't wait to try this product to see um, what that does with both of their hair. Uh, my favorite piece out of all of this, I think is the conditioner. Um, after I washed it, you could tell it was very clean. Um, not dry though, but once I added this conditioner, oh my goodness, it felt like deliciously lovely. And then uh, the hair cream uh, added that extra moisture. After I did the Bantu knots and wrapped it up, you could really tell that that moisture was just sealed in there and um, it was very hydrated. So I will wear it like this for the next mm, day, maybe two. Um, and then I'll do it all over again um, and just keep that low manipulation process going to rehydrate um, and re-moisturize my hair. So I love it, Tab. You knocked this one out. Thank you. Um, and we're going to keep using it and, and see what happens. Oh, don't let me forget my gummies for today. Got to take two. Comment below and tell me what you think. As Tab says, for us with that extra strong hair, comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.